Over this five week road trip, we'll be checking out loads of places in New Zealand for the very first time, even as a couple of Kiwis ourselves. We are on a glacier. We'll also be showing some spots we know and sharing a bit of a walk down memory lane with some of our favorites, like today. Today is all about the city of Taupo. At least that's how we should be pronouncing it, but a lifetime of saying Taupo is an instinctive habit we're working on. Taupo is in the center of the North Island and home to not only New Zealand's largest lake, but actually the largest in Australasia. Lake Taupo is roughly the size of Singapore and is a crater formed by one of the largest volcanic eruptions Earth has seen in the last 5,000 years. We're starting off down at the lakefront for the first of four iconic and free things to check out in town. Of course, you can pay to play and make them even better, but whether it's raining or not, they're worth checking out. Today's video is made possible by Safety Wing Travel Insurance, a subscription model, low cost nomad insurance that we personally love. You can even sign up while you're already traveling and even better, they now also cover COVID-19. There's a link in the description to check them out for your next adventures. This is often how it goes in the morning. So I've got reverse here, checking the screen, but then I've got Stace outside there. She's actually looking here to make sure that we don't scrape the exhaust on the uh, on the concrete after the park looking good looking good stop <laughs> did did i stop or did we hit the curb <laughs> did you hit something no it doesn't matter it's okay if we rest against the curb that's fine good job babe you too everything that we had planned today was outdoors and as you can probably tell the weather isn't playing ball so no. <laughs> we've had to change things up a little bit but we're still there's still a few things that are really iconic to Taupo that we have to check out while we're here yeah I think we can manage that at the very least yeah. and I want to like I think it's cool to almost take a walk down memory lane and show because we both used to the holiday here as kids so there's there's a couple of things that really stand out and remind me of when I used to live in Wellington and my cousins lived in Auckland. Taupo is that midway point. Oh, so we would come and meet them here, my family and their family, and we'd do all the activities and go and play mini golf and do all that kind of stuff. And so, I don't know, it's nice memories for me. Yeah, I used to always come down here with my grandparents and they used to have a timeshare on the edge of the lake back that way. And we used to go and play mini golf as well. I wish we could play mini golf today. Well, if we get a gap in the rain, can. We, we can. Stace is an absolute mini golf ninja. Sometimes. So I'm not going to be too confident. <laughs> this has got to be the most well-known thing. Yeah, this place has been around since 1993 and you pay for however many balls that you want and you've got to hit it out 100 meters out to a floating pontoon and there's three different flags. Okay, there's a, the a white, place. a red and a blue. And if you get a hole in one into the red, then you win $10,000. And apparently, there's been over a thousand winners to date that have got a hole in one. 1,079, I can see 1, the sign. 1,079. Although I don't know if that's the red, the red or the, no, know, the blue or the say, white. Not specifically. No, but su such a like, this is an iconic thing to do here. Yeah. I, I have tried before. Uh, I don't think I got close, but it's just one of those things that I think people just come and you just spend money to say that you've done it. I would normally try it, but I was specifically told that I'm not supposed to do any kind of like rotation-y movements because of my back. So, but it's quite funny watching this guy. Oh, are you going to do it though? No. Okay, Stacey's not going to do it. Hole. But we're watching. Wait, it would be a waste of money. Yeah, you're, you're a mini golfer, not, a, yeah. not an actual golfer. Um, there's a guy out here. We just saw this girl walk past and she goes, that has got to be the worst job I've ever seen. And so we wandered over to have a look and there's a guy out there and his job is to just wade out in the water collecting all of the golf balls. Normally it's probably quite fun, but he's got a helmet on because... <laughs> yeah, but in the rain and with people shooting golf balls at you, I don't imagine it's the greatest thing to be doing. A massive 160 meter walk away is the second iconic thing to see. If you didn't take a photo with the hashtag love Topol sign, did you even visit? <laughs> Another 120 meter hike away is one of the most well recognized and iconic fast food joints in the world with a little bit of a twist. Welcome to one of the world's coolest McDonald's. <laughs> it's 
That's such a weird thing to say out loud, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. The reason it's one of the coolest McDonald's is because it's got a DC3 plane parked right outside, and you can even go inside and eat in the cockpit. If you, you literally haven't lived, you haven't been to New Zealand, and you definitely haven't been to Taupo, unless <laughs> you came here and ate a happy meal in the happy plane. In the happy plane. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that today, but I definitely did when I was younger. Yeah, me too. So the story goes that this guy bought it and originally was going to use it for his office or something. And then in the 90s, McDonald's bought it off and, and they've just left it here. It's a pretty sweet idea. Yeah. I feel like all McDonald's have stuff like this. I wonder if that guy is thinking, damn, I wish I had that as my office, because he probably has to drive past it. Yeah. But it makes people very happy. That's children you can hear playing around in the background. And there's people literally up in there now, eating. I hope there's room for us, because we want to go in and get a coffee. Yeah, let's go get a, a McCaff. McCaff. <laughs> okay, we go and get a coffee and see if we can head up, head up in there. <laughs> Bring back memories being in here, but not of my childhood, of those days. Do you remember like eight or nine months ago when we used to travel? <laughs> Do you, you guys remember when we used to get on planes and you would fly places? It was kind of this really weird world. You could go anywhere you wanted and you just take take a plane similar to this. Ideally with a nicer cockpit though, because that looks grim up there, eh? Terrifying. It's terrifying. Obviously it's not maintained, it's not, it's not well kept or anything, but um, so it's all locked off, you can't get there, but there's heaps of information on the walls and stuff which we won't we won't bore you with, but I thought that it was quite fun to come and check this out and sit here and have our little coffees in probably the only airplane we're going to be in for a while. In fact, unless, other than when we fly back from Queenstown to Auckland, but that's domestic so it doesn't really count for some reason. So there's not really much more of the central area of Taupo that could really show. It's, it's not, it's more the sort of place that you come and you walk around the, the lakefront. Lake not, there's not really like a big shopping district or an area that you would wander and spend a lot of time sort of hanging out. But there is a lot more restaurants and bars mm. and cafes here than when I remember. So yeah. it has developed in times with, um, with the population coming here. But it's also really popular in winter, as you can tell. It's still crazy busy, even though it's pissing with rain. Yeah, there is a, a mountain close by called Mount Ruapehu, and that's where a lot of people go skiing and snowboarding. So it's popular in the summer and the winter time, this place. There's a lot of stuff to do, but it's just not really one of those places that you'd sort of wander around and do it. You sort of, you book an excursion or you drive out yeah. and go and do something, which is what we're gonna do, because we, we have to go and see the hooker falls but the cool thing is it's probably the one thing to come here and do or see that is even more epic oh in the rain when the weather is shite <laughs> <laughs> because the river is going to be absolutely raging yeah i think it's going to be pumping so according to our maps it's an 11 minute drive out from this sort of central area i think from memory we go back up onto the hill and up then the kind hill. of like kind pull, of the way we came in yeah, yeah. kind of pulled back in but are they still got Cobb & Co here? Oh. Old school. I don't think I'll be able to get that on camera now, but Cobb & Co was the, like, our childhood restaurant <laughs> that you would go and go and eat at and get the traffic light drinks and stuff. Do you remember stuff. those um, little chip little things chip that thing? you put on all your you fingers? Things? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a throwback for any other Kiwis I watching bet, this. I bet I, I've got photos of I, me like that. I hope you do. <laughs> any other Kiwis watching this, you, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. I remember this area here being used as, oh it still is, like the big circus hangout. Oh yeah. Oh, there's ice skating out there at the moment. Oh, that's quite cool. I've never seen this car park this quiet. Quite nice, we've almost got this whole river to ourselves at this point. Uh, what have we got on these signs, beautiful? It just basically says that there's loads of things to do dotted all along the Waikato River from the Hooker Falls jet boat that you can do that goes mm. down below. There's 
<laughs> the old prawn the farm. farm. <laughs> the prawn <laughs> farm. Oh, my family love the prawn farm. <laughs> don't act like you don't love the prawn farm. <laughs> It is. We're not even quite there yet. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear us. Oh, I found all the people. Here they are. There you go. Wow, you wouldn't want to fall in there. We were right. It is raging today. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. This is the craziest I've ever seen it. Whoa. That is scary. Nature is scary when you look at it like this. And then it's so calm out the other side. swimming pool in just 11 seconds that how that's how fast the water is flowing so by my math that could fill your backyard swimming pool in about two <laughs> and I'm making that shit up obviously um, the the reason why it rushes so hard the river is a hundred meters wide back there the Waikato River and it gets to this point here where it's only 15 meters and that's why it kind of it gets smashed all together and creates this raging flow through here there is normally there's normally a waterfall somewhere, but we think that there might have been so much rain. Uh, small, small fall, but we're walking in this direction. We're hoping we can see something more down this end. But yeah, there's normally, typically there's a much more obvious fall. But that's kind of what creates that, that mad flow through here, is that it's all smashed into this a small sort of channel and pushed out the other side which is why it's so chaotic back there and then relatively calm up this end done a quick grocery haul we definitely end up buying a little bit more packaged stuff like we had a soup the other night and because it's so cold it's been really nice normally we probably wouldn't buy package like this or buy packaged meats but I mean we can cook here with, with minces and meats and whatever Soups but are just easy, aren't yeah they? we are kind of going a little bit more towards the easy like buying bread and having a roast chicken or just having cereal as a backup and then we can go out for the more um, complete meals should we say and we're obviously like living on snacks and everything yeah. also so all of this came to i've done a video about the costs of new in new zealand if you haven't seen that yet where i talk a lot more specifically about individual things all of this was 120 dollars and 10 cents which there's maybe five maybe six or seven meals here do you think that's pretty good about yeah. that yeah, and then a lot of treats and coffee and stuff, which we drink every single day. Some fruits, there's some healthy stuff in here. We had a bit of a close call this morning. We almost ran out of diesel. <laughs> wow, it looks bumpy. It is right. real Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> As we've been going along, it's so rugged along this west coast. And now we've got that black sand. You said that one of the areas we drove past looked like seen Why? from the Lion King, eh? Just ruthless, kind of scary like, but in a good way. What did I tell you? Ring that bell, keep left. Absolute right. disrespect out here. I know, how do I report someone? <laughs> <laughs>